At 91 years old, Alina Dabrowska is still consumed by the horror of what happened to her here. It is why she has brought her granddaughter, Eva, for the first time. It is why she wanted to talk to us about her memories. And it is why, for 50 years, she could never set foot in this place. Once I tried to, uh, to come here with my children and I couldn't move. I was paralyzed. In these buildings, Alina was a victim of the cruel experiments carried out by this man, Nazi doctor Joseph Mengele, known as the Angel of Death. For the first time, Alina is shown some of the tools used by Mengele for his cruel experiments, sterilizations, crude transplants, and here, even the typhus she was injected with as a guinea pig to test medicines. I had hallucination. I got a very high fever, fever, as never in my life. F earlier and afterwards, I had no such a high fever. And you think you, you thought you were going to die? Yes. At nearby Block 10, where many of the experiments took place, she could not bring herself to cross the threshold. I am very glad that we are here, not, f not going further. And who can blame her? This remains an eerie, sickening place of dark corridors and rooms with dreadful secrets. In one, a dissection table. What grotesque atrocities were carried out by doctors here in the name of medical research? I don't think they are normal men. I can't find a proper English word for this. They're bestia, so beast. beast, beast. Before she left, she shows me a mark on her arm. It is her prison number, 44165, fading but with her for life. Just like the memories of a place she wants her granddaughter and the world never to forget.